this is Diana Irie Vaughn, and she is the Republican nominee for treasurer of the uh, state of Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm very proud to have her here in our county. And uh, I thought it was very appropriate that as we welcome her to the county, that uh, Dave Seaborn, the treasurer of our county, is here to, to also welcome her. Welcome. So. It's my uh, second trip here to Franklin County, and it's a wonderful place. Love being here. And uh, I hope to be working with you more as the campaign continues. You know, there are a lot of important issues that are coming up. Death's a huge issue, be it on the federal or the state level. Um, it's an issue in a lot of our counties and our school districts as it relates to the pension crisis that we have, not only in Pennsylvania, but that the school districts have. So I've been uh, going around the uh, state, talking to other counties, school districts, looking to other states to see how they're handling pension crises they find themselves in and working on a plan that I want to release for the Office of the State Treasurer. Well, um, as I've been traveling through the smaller counties, uh, people are surprised to see a statewide candidate coming out. And I said, this is my second time here. Um, people are concerned about the election that's coming up. They're really concerned about debt. And I think what we all really care about is making sure that we don't lose the American dream and that we have a country that we're proud to hand down to our children and our grandchildren. Um, I have three children. My uh, children are getting ready to turn uh, 19, 22, and 23. You know, so I'm right there saving for retirement, putting a child through college, you know, and hoping that they're going to have opportunities. Uh, Washington County's got great opportunities. Uh, we did a lot of long-range planning for industrial parks, and our taxes are among the lowest in the region. And we've had an opportunity with the Marcellus Shale play also to really grow. We are third in the nation in job growth in Washington County. And that's an issue that people care about. You know, they want to know that there will be opportunities for themselves and their families. Well, as a commissioner, you are responsible for a lot of different things. You know, we are responsible for running a correctional facility. In Washington County, we have an airport and county parks and uh, 911. We do so many different things, but the most relevant experience is the experience managing the pension fund because the state treasurer is the only statewide elected official to sit on both state pension funds. So that's a, a really important practical experience that I have. Well, we're going to have to look at how to meet the obligations that we have, and there is a huge deficit that's looming. We are gathering information from other states right now to see how they're addressing the pension fund. We're going to have to just take an uh, open view as to how we consider options that are out there. In Washington County, we've changed our compensation package a number of times you know, to meet uh, the long-range planning that we knew we were going to have to do to meet our obligations, and that's what we're going to have to do for the Commonwealth. Well, the fact that it's underfunded to be a healthy pension fund is a huge concern. The fact that Moody's last week reduced um, the, the rating for Pennsylvania, the bond rating, because of the pension liabilities, those are two huge, important issues that need to be talked about. And the state treasurer, frankly, needs to be a leader in, in the discussion about this. I haven't heard the state treasurer or anyone else standing up for the past five years saying, look, you know, there are clouds ahead and we need to start planning for this now. Nobody's been talking about that and showing the leadership we need. And, and that has to happen because you're never going to be able to meet your needs unless you're planning for them ahead of time. You know, and, and what I don't want to do is see, see us just at the last minute, you know, throw our hands in the air and say, oh, well, we're going to pass this on to the taxpayers again because I think the taxpayers have had it with just having to be responsible every time we as elected officials aren't acting responsibly.